What's up y'all, it's your girl Kiamani and I'm back at it again with another video. And this video is gonna be for the company Wow African. So these are the things that comes in the box, just a little card and the wig. So today we are working with a 22 inch natural color, 150%, 360 degree lace wig with extra elastic bands. And of course the hairline is pre-plugged and the knots are bleached. So today, what I'm gonna do is, um, instead of just doing one patch in the front, um, you know how usually the trend was like that Wiz Khalifa patch in the front? I'm actually just gonna do the whole front of my head. So I did part the whole hairline out and I started to bleach. I used some regular old bleach powder with 40 volume developer. You wanna make sure you don't go over honestly 30 just so you don't like super damage the hair like 50 that's kind of pushing it don't need to do that you know what i'm saying but yeah i put this in the hair i let it sit for about 20 minutes and i actually did bleach it twice just to get get it as light as possible now once i was done bleaching the front i am going to use this jet black hair color and put it all over the back so i had to separately dye both because i didn't want to you know, accidentally interfere. You know, I don't want to get any black on the blonde. You know what I'm saying? And for this part, I tried to like tone the, I don't, honestly don't really know what I thought I was doing. I, I tried to tone the front with some platinum um, semi-permanent rinse, but it really didn't work. And it kind of got on my lace a little bit. So you could just skip that step. After you rinse all your color out, you just want to blow dry and then we're going to style. For the back, I just straightened it off camera with my um, flat iron that I always use. And I'm just gonna do four big curls in the front and I'm using a one and a half inch. I think this is a Hot Tools curling iron that I got from Ross. You've seen it several times if you watch my videos. And I'm using that just to give it some body in the front. So it's flat and sleek in the back and just a little bit of body in the front. I didn't use any products when I was curling it since the hair was processed in the front where I, where I bleached. Um, bleach hair always holds curls great, like phenomenal. Like I can curl it today and these curls are literally being here for like a week. Um, so you don't really need product if you're gonna do this style. And I just let it set. And here's the inside of the wig. So it's a decent amount of lace. Uh, again, there's lace all the way around because it is a 360 degree. I know y'all think it's funny when I say that. Lace wig. So after I cut off the lace, I just started to install. And I am trying to keep my curls in as much as possible just so they can hold and set and we can get a lot of oomph in the front. But yeah, I'm just gonna use um, my got to be and install how I install all my other wigs. I'm sorry I'm turned to the side, but it's the easy. This is the easiest way for me to actually install my wigs. I'm gonna do better at this next time, but I know you can still see. So now we're on to the baby hairs part, and we're just gonna part out a very thin um, section in the front so we could trim. Make sure you cut in jagged lines. You don't wanna cut straight across with your baby hairs. One thing about this color in the front is it matches my skin tone to a T. So it literally look like I had no baby hairs. I don't really know if I like that look. <laughs> but you just wanna cut them and then swoop. I usually use um, Eco Styler, but you do wanna be careful with a water-based gel because if you put too much or if you don't know what you're doing, it will make your wig lift and you'll be so pissed off you just laid your wig and it's starting to lift once you're at the end, which is the baby hairs. So just be mindful of that.
so I'm taking my pin curls out. Um, um, well, taking the clips out, and then I'm just going to rake my fingers through them. Nothing special. And this install is basically done. You want to just make sure your hairline is completely dry before you let, um, before you take off the scarf, especially when you're combing through it, because it will start to lift if it's not fully dry. Trust me, I know. But yeah, once this is done, you are completely slayed. So if you did want to pick up this wig and try this out yourself, everything on sis is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.